Bleeding from the nose is common in children and is usually not a sign of any underlying problem. But rarely it can be caused by serious disease. It affects more than half of children by the time they are 10 years old, with 9% of children reported to have recurrent episodes. Recurrent epistaxis is five or more episodes per year. A nosebleed happens when one of the blood vessels in the lining of the nose bursts. Two of the most common causes of nosebleeds are dryness, often caused by indoor heat in the winter, and nose picking. Nose picking occurs more often when mucus in the nose is dry and crusty. Colds, upper respiratory infections, and sinusitis, especially episodes that cause repeated sneezing, coughing, and nose blowing. Another name for nosebleed is epistaxis. Blood thinning drugs, aspirin, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, warfarin, and others, can also cause epistaxis. Frequent use of nasal sprays and medications to treat itchy, runny, or stuffy nose. These medications, antihistamines and decongestants, can dry out the nasal membranes. Other, less common causes of nosebleeds include alcohol use, bleeding disorders, such as hemophilia or von Willebrand disease or leukemia, high blood pressure, atherosclerosis, nasal tumors and nasal polyps. There are two types of nosebleeds, anterior, more common, and posterior, less common, but more likely to require medical attention. The source of 90% of anterior nosebleeds is within Kieselbarker's plexus, also known as Little's area, on the anterior nasal septum. In up to 90% of cases, childhood recurrent epistaxis is self-limiting and originates from the anterior inferior part of the nasal septum known as Little's area, usually attributed to local trauma from digital manipulation, mucosal drying, and crusting, or local inflammation from an upper respiratory infection. However, non-accidental injury or serious illness must be considered in those presenting with epistaxis in the first two years of life. Nosebleed care. Sit upright or stand. And lean forward. Sitting upright reduces blood flow to veins and sitting forward will help you avoid swallowing blood. Gently blow your nose. Blow your nose to clear your nose of blood clots. Then spray both sides of your nose with a nasal decongestant containing oxymetazoline, afrin. Pinch your nose. Breathe through mouth. Continue to pinch for 10 to 15 minutes. If the bleeding continues after 10 to 15 minutes, repeat holding pressure for another 10 to 15 minutes. Avoid peeking at your nose. If the bleeding still continues, seek emergency care. To prevent rebleeding, don't pick or blow your nose and don't bend down for several hours. Keep your head higher than the level of your heart. You can also gently apply some petroleum jelly to the inside of your nose using a cotton swab or your finger. If rebleeding occurs, go through these steps again. Prevention. When you blow your nose, especially when you have a cold, do so gently into a soft tissue. Don't blow forcefully or pick your nose. Keep the inside of your nose moist with saline, salt water, nasal spray or gel, or dark petroleum jelly or antibiotic ointment gently around the opening of the nostrils.